So first things first, before we draw the bending moment diagrams, I always like to get our shear equation because that way we can determine where the maximum or minimum, mo minimum moments are because if we just have your shear equation set it equal to zero, then we have our um, location of our maximum and mids. So taking a section at this point is A and this was 0.04x like we've determined before. Some of the forces in the y direction equal to zero. The area of our load 0.04x times x over 2 therefore our shear is equal to shear equals zero we can get our max moment location. So if we set that equal to zero, we get zero equals 0 0.9 minus 0.02 x squared. x is equal to 6.7 feet. So now we know that at 6.7 feet, our moment equation is going to be at a maximum. So let's draw and see what this one is going to look like. So this is our original structure, and then like before, we want to draw our grid, so it looks something like this. We know that this length is 15 feet, another 15 feet. Set maybe around here somewhere, that could be our 6.7 feet, and same with here, 6.7 feet. So this will give us, because it's symmetric, it'll be both on, uh, the same on both sides. From class, we know that the moment equation is just the integral of the shear, right? So moment for this would be the integral of what we found This is our moment equation, and yeah, there'd be a plus constant, but we know that it's a pin support, so at uh, m of zero, it's gonna equal zero because of the pin support, we have a zero moment. Now we found our zero shear at 6.7 feet, so let's plug in 6.7 feet into our equation. So m max equals 4.02 kip feet. And It'll be the same on both sides. 4.02 kip feet. Okay. And now we know that is positive because we got a positive uh, in our equation. So now we want to find the moment at our support reaction B. So we're going to plug in, find M of 15 is simply in our equation negative 9. So now we found out all of our, our locations, our moments. We know it's zero at A, zero at C because we have a pin and a roller, so there can't be any moment. And at B, we have a negative nine moment at our maximum of 4.2 and 4.2 in both locations. So now we need to look at the concavity of our bending moment diagram. So let's draw the deflected shape. It'll look something like this. Now we know that whenever our deflection is concave up, we'll have a positive moment. So it looks like it's concave up all the way to about the inflection point right here. So we're gonna have a positive moment increasing, decreasing to this point. And, we know, and here we can see that it's concave down, therefore it's gonna be negative, similar on the other side. And it's not gonna be a straight line, this will be a para uh, parabola because our load is to the degree of one and then our um, moment is always going to be two degrees higher. So this will be going down like this, negative moment and negative moment. So negative here because it is concave down in our deflect deflected shape and then concave up in our deflected shape we know that we're going to have a positive moment. There you go, so now we have just solved support reactions using the force method and the virtual work method um, and then draw on the bending moment diagram thanks for watching if you like my videos please subscribe like and share with your friends and also visit my website at www.everythingeng.com and let's connect on linkedin search me up blake tabian